one of the micronutrients that is incredibly important for all grain production is boron. We're going to talk today about boron, what it specifically does in plants, and what kind of levels you should be looking for on your farm. Well, boron is a pretty interesting nutrient, and one of the things that I think is really important to understand before we start this discussion is that boron is leachable in soils. So much like nitrogen and sulfur, it can move down through soils with excessive rainfall, and even more so when you have lighter soils and low organic matter levels. So it's really important as you start thinking about, all right, uh, I get it, boron's a nutrient my crops need. When you think about how you're going to apply it and when you're going to apply it, you'll have to time it out so it's available for the crop. So think of boron as a building block. Once it's in that plant, it really doesn't move around much. It's not going to translocate in the plant like a nitrogen, phosphorus, or potassium will. So we have to apply that boron when our crop is going to need it. So if we need some early in the year, which we do, we're gonna need a little bit out there early, but if you need some late for pollination, for test weight, for filling that ear of corn out to the tip, you're going to have to apply some boron later in the season as well. Well, maybe, that's hard to say. If you've got light ground and you have lots of moisture, then yes, you definitely need to apply some later on in the year. But if you have heavy soil and you just get your soil levels up, you're in good shape. Well, anyway, before we get to that and what you should have in your soil, we gotta talk a little more about why boron is so important. It can actually help move food, sugars, hormones in throughout the plant. It's important for cell structure. If you do have corn ears, for example, they don't quite fill out to the end, very commonly that can be a shortage of boron. Boron is tremendously important in flowering for all crops. So there are a lot of reasons why you've got to have good boron levels in your plant. So Darren made the comment about applying it at all these different times of the year, and you certainly can do that. But I kind of look at on our farm, for example, we've got some really heavy ground, don't normally have a lot of rainfall. I'm not super worried about boron leaching on our farm. What I'm more worried about is how much do I have in my soil? Because I, I would just ask you this, how much boron have you applied on your farm in the last 20 years? On our farm, it hadn't been much. So the last few years, we've been putting out some dry boron, a pound or two or even three pounds on a per acre basis broadcast. So we have some boron, we get those levels up. Now we're seeing boron in the plants later in the season. What well, gets people nervous though, Brian, when you talk about a pound, two pounds, three pounds of boron, is boron toxicity. We've all heard about it. We've read about it that oh, I'm nervous about that. So I'm just gonna run a pint or I'm just gonna run a quart. And you know what, if you're nervous about it, here's what you need to do. Try out some different rates on your farm. Maybe you're putting out a quart and you think, you know, a quart I'm pretty comfortable with, but maybe on one pass, you say, all right, I'm gonna try two quarts or I'm gonna try three quarts and you go from there. Or if you're putting out some dry boron and you say, well, my fertilizer dealer says everybody's using a pound and they're comfortable with that. Well, that's fine, use the pound, but then Maybe you try two pounds just on one pass through the field and see what happens. And once you learn, well, hey, here's what happened when I put on those higher rates. Here's what happened in my plant tissue test. Here's what happened on my soil test. Now you've got some good information for your farm going forward. Now, one of the biggest problems that we commonly see when we talk about fertility rates with farmers is, are we talking about a pound of actual or a pound of whatever that material is? So Darren mentioned a pint or a quart. Well, what does that really mean? Okay, so if you've got 10% liquid boron, for example, obviously it's 10% active. Well, if you're putting a quart on, how much does a quart weigh? It weighs roughly three pounds at the most. Okay, so 10% of three pounds is 0.3 pounds. Well, literally, if you had a fantastic corn crop, it could use 0.3 pounds this year. So you've got to have that every single time you raise corn, plus your soybeans would need something. So I'm just trying to say, make sure that you look at what is your actual removal. Our suggestion is download the free Ag PhD fertilizer removal app and just look up your crop, your yield, and then you can see how much boron you actually need each and every year. When we talk about boron, I mentioned before, soil testing and plant tissue analysis. These are really two good pieces to be able to see what nutrients are in your soil and what nutrients are actually getting into your crop. When we look at those soil test levels with boron, most of the tests that I've looked at over the last few years, really across North America, and even some tests internationally, have been down in the 0.4 parts per million to 0.6 parts per million of boron. So about a half a part per million. That's not enough. 
we really want to see a minimum of 1.2 parts per million on a soil test, but we'd really rather see three parts per million. And on our farm, we're even pushing those limits a little bit to see if a little bit more boron could be even more beneficial for us. Now, that said, this is not the most important nutrient on your farm. If you're short of N, P, and K, well, you're not gonna notice if you're just a little bit short of boron because the N, P, and K are gonna take precedence. So I'm assuming that you've got those in order before you're really concerned about super high levels of boron. Even if you don't have your N, P, and K where you want, we still encourage you test your soil for boron and be thinking about applying at least a little bit of boron almost every year because boron is leachable. Well, getting more boron out there could make your crop a little healthier. Another thing that could benefit your crop would be controlling our weed of the week. Can you identify this week's weed? 